All right, what's up, guys? So back with another one here. So more Guilty Gear Strive. No, did I say more? No, no, sorry. So <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hold on, let's try again. All right, what's up, guys? So we're back with another one here. Take two. But yes, we are we are back here with more Steam reviews here. This time we're gonna be focused on Guilty Gear Strive, the fighting game of the year, 2021. Uh, it came out of nowhere. It kind of took the edge of seat by storm. Without a doubt, the most successful Guilty Gear. A lot of new faces, a lot of new players. Not just from the FTC, but also from outside the FTC. You know, a lot of people who their first game was Guilty Gear Strive and picked up, they joined. So I want to see how's everybody feeling. What are, what are they talking about? What do they like? What do they dislike? So what better way than to read the Steam, the, the Steam reviews? A lot of intelligent people on the Steam comments. So let's see what they're saying here. But uh, like always, if you like this stuff, if you like this kind of fun fighting game content, hit the subscribe button. And I can barely put a sentence together today. Hit the subscribe button wherever it is. I don't know. Let's get 100K in 2022. Is it possible? I don't know. We might as well try. But hey, before we start, what's my review? If I had to put a review of Guilty Gear Strive, I love it. Positive, uh, very, very positive. Two thumbs up. Highly recommended. Netcode is godlike. Graphics are beautiful. Music is great uh, and everything. Gameplay is very fun. Very easy to get into. But also, at high level, it's still very fun. Things like that. No complaints. I guess the only complaint is, uh, even though I personally don't have it, is the what the load time. The lobby, the, the connecting load time right there. And then lobbies. Lobby, I don't get no complaint about the lobby. I log on, I hit instant rematch, and I just play. I don't have that problem. I'm just built different. I don't know. But anyway, let's see what people are saying. Starting with the positives. Number one, of course, X. Receive product for free. I love women. It looks like we are back. We are back to the to the blaze blue. We are back to the blaze blue comments right here. At least he believes women are real. The melting players didn't. Remember the melting players were like, I wish women were real. At least he knows they're real. All right, number two. Ready? Holy crap. I'm not reading that. I'll tell you what. Whatever. I can't even see your name. Uh, I guess he likes it. He gave it. He gave it a thumbs up. My man, he should be a YouTuber. You see how look at him talk. He should be a YouTuber. Stop, stop writing uh, Steam reviews, man. Get make a YouTube channel. Be rich. All right, let's see. Number three. When the gear is guilty. Can we get a real comment, please? Ah, right, here we go. Skaven. Okay, finally a real review. Skaven says, "Guilty Gear Strive is easily one of the greatest fighting games I've ever experienced. Amazing visuals and booming soundtrack draw you in. A great roster and combos keep you come back for more." Ten ten. Will Volcano Viper again. Yeah, nice. No, yeah, no, he likes it. Some people might take offense at the combo. I know a lot of people say Strive has no combos, right? Strive's got no combos. He likes the combos, but he's a soul player. Huh? Soul's got some illegal combos. But yeah, it's like that. You know, graphics are important. The music's important. The the easy access is for him to be able to do these combos is important. Good. He likes it. Reviewing every game I own, number 31. One of my favorite albums and even comes with a cool fighting game. Did you get it? Do you guys get it? I've never heard that one before. Do you, do you understand it? I don't know what's worse. The soundtrack that came with a fighting game or the Melty Blood bathroom joke? Wh which joke is worse? Which one is, is more like played out? Literally every comment, every single Strive character trailer, that was the first, the top comment. Every Strive trailer, that was the top comment. On this video, I know there's going to be like 20 comments now that I said that, saying that. You're not funny. Slime Son. What in the... I think he's a maid player. He tried... It's, it's cute. You can you can feel it though. It was a positive message. He just tried it was the, best, the best he could put together there. Ah, oh, here we go. Hikari Tsuki says, One of the most simple fighting games you can get your hands on. Great for people who want to give fighters a try. Many new players are prone to getting frustrated and complaining. I don't recommend interacting with the community. I agree. Don't interact with the community. Degenerates. Everybody gets comboed for more than half their health when they make a crucial mistake. You may come to see as part of the game. Hey, that's a good message. That's a nice message, yeah. Just learn at your own pace. Don't get frustrated. Don't get mad. You'll enjoy it. Nernlon. It's different than Accent Core, but it's also cool. Wow. How, what, what is it? How dare you say something so controversial? Believe it or not, this is a record-breaking scientists have just discovered. You can actually like different things. It, it's amazing. You can enjoy old Guilty Gear and new Guilty Gear at the same time. It's not a war. You don't have to choose sides. Yeah, great stuff there. Nurn Lawn. And last one. Come on, Hunter. Says, if you're interested in playing fighting games, this is a perfect game to start you out. No complex combos and easy to learn characters. Except Jack goes out to have a chaos. That's true. Good death for players. Rank system is good too. A lot of good mods. Really good game, didn't it? I can't see on the battlefield. If you choose to purchase the game, have fun and let's rock. Hey, what nice positivity there from that guy. Hunter, nice positivity. I enjoy it. New players, very, very easy to pick up. That, that was their target, right? It was accessibility. They said 100 times, you want this game, get rid of legacy skill, get the new players in, and it was a huge success in that, that regard. Tons of new players picked it up. And for the old players, it's still really fun. For the new players that got good, it's still really fun at the high level. So 10 out of 10. 
But not everybody shares my thoughts. Let's see some of the negative comments here. Number one, baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> all cat. I just saw all cats like, wait a second, somebody's pissed off. Alright, let's see. Mod says, warning, if you live in South America, don't buy this game. It doesn't oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, if you don't know, this is an issue that happened a couple weeks ago. Is you you just, the South American players just could not connect. They couldn't net play. So uh, Arxis acknowledge it. They're trying to fix it. Hopefully they do it soon. I agree. South America, give it a thumbs down until they fix it. Active says, not good for arcade players. The CPU is downright cheating. <laughs> it exposed too many glitches in the game. You'll end up playing a program, not a game. Oof. Damn, imagine that. Daisuke spent all this time to make the game easily accessible, and there's still people that are pissed off that the arcade mode's too hard. Bro, put it on very easy or something, Active. Come on, man. All right, he fought, he fought against Nagoyuki, maybe. The boss mode. I don't know. Pog says, uh, this game is great and really fun, but the servers are terrible and at times just unplayable. Uh, no, that's fair. That, that's very fair. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, I, I live in Japan, so I don't have the problem, but I've heard that the people overseas have a lot of time, you know, server issues, connection issues, so hopefully they can fix it. So yeah, a fair complaint. Great Fox Sound. Everything about the game is great, but I don't think it supports crossplay yet. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Damn, that's a harsh, that's a harsh thumbs down, but okay. Every, he says, everything is great, but no crossplay, thumbs down. Damn, he's a believer, man. He's going to be the next sage at my thing. He's going to leave the crossplay army. But yeah, hopefully that is in the future, not just for Strive. Hopefully that's like, you know, the next FGC mission, right? Get rollback and then get crossplay and then get rid of Okazeme and we're in there. All right, number five. Uh, Roasted Marshmallow. He refunded his product. He refunded the game, so he must be pissed off. Came from Fighter Z. Wasn't a fan of lack of auto... This is a troll, right? Nah, this is a troll. This has got to be a troll, right? I'm not, I'm not getting baited by this. Well, let's read it. But this is bait. This is bait. Came from Fighter Z, but wasn't a fan of the lack of auto comms. Probably a fun game, but it's not for me. It's probably not for a lot of casual players looking to play a fighting game for their first time. Nah, that's bait. That's bait. The the combos in Strive, Strive is such an easy game. I can't stress how easy it is. Strive is easier than Dragon Ball, too. Dragon Ball might make you feel like it's easier if you just mash auto combos and stuff, but you're never going to like actually get anywhere. Strive, with just a tiny bit of effort, you can actually learn the game and get good. But damn. That's a, that, he refunded it too. That's crazy. All right, next up. Pen player, please fix the game's loading time for network. I purchased the game in 2021. I'm still loading in the game in 2022. Fair. It's fair. It's fair. No no defense against that. Hopefully, you can load it up before the year is over there. All right, number seven. Welp, you met me. The reason why I say it's not a good game is because it requires no skill. No skill. You can hit swords and it still damages. And by the way, there's a character named May that doesn't require skill. I legit went from rank two to ten. Being mad, what the heck's he saying? Why, like, why are people, why are scrubs allowed to like write comments, man? It's tragic. The devs might read this and listen too. I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit by stuff that clearly didn't hit you. And also gives you double KO. Jesus Christ! All right, flush. It's fine to say like it's fine to say I don't like a game or whatever, but you can't just make stuff up. The dude, the Blaze Blue dude, was making up stuff about like there's fake overheads because of the lag of, of crouching and standing. There's a delay and there's lag. He's like infinite block strings and stuff. People just make, make stuff up non-stop, huh? Now, let's see. Queen Lot. Play Tekken 7 instead. Now, that's Obama. Wait, that's Obama. Hold on. That, that one's Obama. This, they're all Obama. This guy just said, he's chilling, man. Play Tekken 7 instead. Why? They're completely different games. They have nothing in common at all. Tekken 7 is a good game, too. Go ahead. Give it a try. Burn. It's been 84 years after communicating with the server. I got married, had sons. They went to college, and I'm still waiting. Damn. He's not lying. Look, 107 hours. He's probably been waiting that whole time. But yeah, fix the servers. Come on, man. All right, last one. Actoma says, I bought this game hoping to have fun, but it's been the complete opposite. I spent almost three hours trying to figure out how to block and do combos. But training mode doesn't even help. The game has me feel nothing but rage, and I regret buying this game. That's rough, man. The game's got tutorial mode, right? Doesn't it doesn't have that weird tutorial mode that teaches you stuff? I didn't use it, but he doesn't know how to block or do combos. I mean, he might be coming from Mortal Kombat looking for the block button. I don't know. But yeah, so the thing is, as a as a struggling content creator i can look at these comments and laugh and be like wow this guy's dumb he doesn't know what he's doing but as a game dev they can't ignore those comments right our player base doesn't understand how to block or do combos like we need to figure out how to make it so everybody understands that's rough man let me let me be your filter and be like ignore that comment ignore that comment ignore that comment like that's a valid comment that's a valid comment ignore that ignore that ignore that overall the comments are very very positive a lot of people really enjoying the game a lot of Casual Guilty Gear fans that, you know, they've been fans of the series the whole time, but they're not, like, super hardcore. Having a great time. A lot of new players are picking it up. There's a couple 
very loud people, uh, very loud uh, naysayers for the game, but I think it's it's the the small minority. I think uh, this game's very, very good. It won game of the year 2021. Let's do it again in 2022. Why not? Do it again in 2022. We got biking coming. Just need uh, some other fan favorites, and just it's going to get bigger and bigger from here on out. But yeah, like always, let me know. Share your thoughts. Share me your Steam reviews in the YouTube comment. Are you enjoying the game? You got a thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you like? What do you hate? I don't know. Let's talk about it. But if you're still watching, like always, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.